G'day guys, what's going on? Ange here again. So I've just come out, I'm going to play with my little uh, brushless gantry pro. I know the last video I done, I think I only done like some couple of speed runs and stuff. But uh, I've just come out for the afternoon and just uh, just going to play here a bit, give it a bit of a bash. See how we go, run it on 2S and then I'll run it on 3S and try not to break it. There's a little bit of a jump over here that the uh, the kids have built, so <laughs> I might have a bit of a play with this one. Also recommend if you do want to get something for your kids, birthday or something coming up, these are great. Like they're so cool and you know they look really good with the body and they're already coming brushless. They also have a three-way um, speed limit on them, so you don't have to go full throttle all the time. You can just um, you can choose your mode, either low, medium, or high, uh, off the remote control. So you can choose. Yeah, high, medium, and low. So if you want to go really slow when you've got just a beginner, let's get off that branch there. Like that's just on the low mode. Like starting off with a younger kid, you know, that's full throttle. And you know, this one ain't gonna break the budget. You won't have to bring it back to the shop or trying to find parts, anything like that. But uh, you know, once you get a little bit better with the steering and uh, throttling, if that's a word, throttling, uh, we can up this to the uh, to the high rate. They have a little bit more fun with it. Oh, thought it'd land on the wheels. You're right there, mate. Must be the driver. Yep, it's the driver, right? That's a great little car. Great fun, this one. <laughs> Thought I was going to get hit in the head on that one. Alright, I think I might change this battery over. Let me see what the uh, what the temperature of the uh, of the brushless motor is. And that's why I should have put those wires away. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a bit of heat in there. Alright, I'll let it cool down for a bit guys. And then I'll, uh, I'll put the 3S in. Alright, so I was going to run it on 3S. But uh, it's not going to happen because I do have the battery. But... I forgot to bring the adapter uh, from an XT60 to a Dean's plug, so bugger me. So uh, it's gonna have to do. So we'll just run this uh, till it goes 
uh, to its uh, low voltage and then uh, that'd be it for this one. Uh, and just another thing too while I'm here is you can see I've sprayed the uh, the inside all black now this is a rubber compound you can get it in the plumbing section uh, at your local hardware shop it's like a rubber seal uh, but it is flexible so you can see that but it has made it um, more durable so it was about $16 a can um, it's just more for plumbing and sealing up areas and stuff like that stop leaks but um, I tried on the plastic and it, I've put it on all my cars now and it works really great. Look at that, like no cracking, no nothing. So you can really bend that right out. But I've got the one coat on it. You can still see a little bit of light through there. But uh, it does need another coat on there. You can put two or three as many as you want. And obviously it is much better. All right guys, so the battery has gone flat, it's hit its low voltage, so uh, we're going to leave it there guys. I was going to run it on 3S, uh, like I showed you, but uh, I forgot to bring the, the adapter from the XT60 to the Dean's plug. So guys, if you are looking for one of these little cars, I will put a link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.